Hi everyone, I'm Nick Olivo, and today we're going to see how to quickly and easily import data into rollable tables in Roll20. This will allow you to go from a table in a source book to a rollable table in Roll20 with just a few clicks. Note that because we're using a mod, a pro account will be required in order to do this. Before we dive in, I'd just like to thank Roll20 for sponsoring this video. Now the key to this is a mod called Table Export. So go out to your mod library, find Table Export, and add that script to your game. Table Export was written by the arcane scriptomancer himself, the Aaron. Aaron, as always, thank you for everything that you do for the community. Once you've got the Table Export script installed, we're ready to go. So let's jump back into our game. And let's say that I want to import the common minor magic items table from Xanathar's Guide to Everything into my game. Well, the first thing I'm going to do is create a rollable table to hold all that. So let's go ahead. We'll give this a more descriptive name. I'm going to call this common minor magic items. And now we'll save changes. And the syntax for this command looks like this. Exclamation point import table item. So we're importing an item into a table dash dash table, which is the name of the table that we're going to import into, the item that we're importing, the weight of that item, so if we want to have it be more likely for this item to come up than others, we can adjust the weight, and then the URL, which would be the URL to an image if there is one for this particular item. So in the example of the armor of gleaming that I've got highlighted from Xanathar's, that would look like this, where we're gonna say import table item, into our common minor magic items table, armor of gleaming, we have a weight of one, and we're not gonna bother with the URL because there is no image associated with this magic item. Now at this point, you're probably wondering, Nick, this is like four times more typing than if I were going to just manually key everything in by hand. How does this help? And you'd be absolutely right. If we had to type all these commands out by hand, it would be even more tedious than just retyping everything from the table. But we're not going to manually create these commands. We're gonna have these commands automatically generated for us. Let me show you how. So the way the commands will be generated for us is with a spreadsheet that was written by the amazing Keith Curtis. I'll drop a link down in the video description for this spreadsheet, but it's right here. And what the spreadsheet does is allows you to enter in the item that you want in this column here, and then the spreadsheet generates the corresponding command to add that item to a table. So what you're gonna wanna do is go up to File, say Make a Copy, and save that in your own Google Drive. I've already done that. I've got my own copy right here called Nick's Table Parser. And so now I wanna get the data out of the source book and put it into the spreadsheet. So I'm just gonna highlight everything in this table. And then once I've done that, I'm gonna press Control C to copy it. Now you'll notice I've got more than just the item name copied here, right? The HTML doesn't allow me to just select a single column. So I do have three columns worth of data here and we really only need the first one. So on my table parser, what I'm gonna do is go into another sheet and I'm just gonna paste in everything. And now that's all the contents from that original table. I'm just gonna highlight column A, which is the item name and control C that. So I've now copied everything just from column A, which is just the item's name. Now let's go back to the original sheet. And what we're gonna do is highlight everything from row three down in column B. These are all the item names. So that's everything that's in here right now. I'm gonna delete that. And I'm just gonna paste in control V. And there we go, we've got all of our new items here. And you'll notice over here on the right that the commands are starting to be built. Now the table name at the moment is test2, which is incorrect. It's supposed to be common minor magic items. So what I'll do there is click in this cell right here. This is the actual name of the table. And so I'll change that to common minor magic items. And now you see that the spreadsheet has automatically updated all of the commands to include the correct table name. So now with the commands built, what we're gonna do is come into column E in our spreadsheet, and we're just gonna copy everything from E3 all the way down to the last item here, which is E54, the Wand of Smiles. I'm gonna Control C to copy that. Jump back into the game. And just to prove there's nothing up my sleeve, we currently see that common minor magic items has zero items in it. So there are no items in this table. I'm gonna to go to the chat log, 
and I'm just going to paste in everything I just copied. And I'll press enter. Okay, and when you press enter, if everything works properly, you won't see any messages in the chat log. So we don't see any messages. That looks good. Let's go back to our tables, and we now see that common minor magic items has 52 elements in it, which is exactly what we were expecting. Now, at this point, somebody out there might be wondering, hey, Nick, is it possible to have this table export script automatically create the table for me? Why, yes, there is. Let's see how to do that. The syntax for that command looks like this, where we say exclamation point import table dash dash the name of the table you want to create and whether or not you want that table to be visible to your players. Essentially, is this players can roll from table checkbox checked or not? So if I wanted to create a new table for rare magic items, the command for that would look like this import table dash dash rare minor magic items and show. And if I just run that real quick, We can see now we have a new rollable table called Rare Minor Magic Items. So now let's put it all together and see just how fast this process goes. So I've got this table of major magic items that I want to load into a rollable table. Let's get to it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is have my table get created for me, and it's going to be called Rare Major Magic Items. Okay, cool. So I've got that. I'm going to hold on to that. We'll come back to that in a moment. Now I'm going to come into my major magic item table here, and I am going to highlight everything in the table. So just scrolling down here to get everything. Control C to copy that. Go into my parser table. Go to the extra tab that I have here. I'm just going to clear everything out of that. Paste in everything that I just copied from my new table. I'm going to highlight column A. Control C that. Back to sheet one. We're going to get everything in column B that is an item. So we're just going to clear out all of this stuff right here. Delete that. Paste in the new stuff. Okay, fantastic. And my table name is Rare Major Magic Items. Update that. There we go. Let's select everything here from column E all the way down to the winged boots. Control C to copy that back into roll 20. And I'm going to just paste everything into my notepad window here because now that's going to give me the import table command, which will create the table and then all of the items within that. Control A to select everything. Control C to copy it all into the chat window. Paste. Boom. And now we have a table with 56 rare major magic items. So there you have it. That's how you can quickly and easily import data into a rollable table in Roll20. I want to give a quick shout out of thanks to the Aaron for building the script and Keith Curtis for building the spreadsheet that makes creating the command so easy. I'd also like to give a quick shout out of thanks to all my patrons. All your support really does mean a lot to me. Thank you so much. I do appreciate it. And thank you for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like and consider subscribing. And until next time, folks, have a great day.